What's up guys, Shane Stars with Droid Modern X. I've got some exciting news for you today. We finally have ROMs for the Verizon variant of the Galaxy S6 Edge. Thanks to Scott of Scott's ROMs, we actually have ROMs for multiple variants of the Galaxy S6 Edge, even with a lockdown bootloader. So on the AT&T variant and also the Verizon variant, we actually have a handful of ROMs. Today we're going to be taking a look at the clean ROM from Scott's ROMs. I'm going to show you guys how to install it using Flash Fire, and then we're going to take a quick look at the ROM itself. Let's go ahead and get started. All right guys, so to install the clean ROM, you're going to head to the link in the description. It's going to bring you to this page. You're going to want to head down and uh, go ahead and download the ROM itself. It's going to take a while because it's kind of on a slow server. So while it does that, you'll need to get set up to beta test the Flash Fire. Just go up here and search. Flash Fire XDA. Okay, and the very first thing that you run into there, the first result is going to be the correct page. You're going to scroll down to where it says the playgoogle.com apps testing. You're going to sign up to be a part of the beta team. Okay, so when you reach this page here, uh, you'll click a button right here. I'm already a tester, but you'll click that button and become a tester And then you'll go down where it says download root flash fire uh, from the Play Store. Go ahead and grab that. Okay, just click install Now of course flashing this clean ROM does require that you're rooted. You'll need to be rooted with the latest ping pong uh, So ping pong version 6.1 is the latest so you want to be on at least that version uh, to install this ROM Okay, once the clean ROM is downloaded Go ahead and open up flash fire Grant that root access. Agree to the disclaimer. Go into actions. Hit the plus sign. And then select wipe. Make sure that you don't select anything else. Just go with what is already there and click the check mark. Click the plus button again. And then choose flash zip or OTA. From there we're going to go to our download folder. And select our ROM. Click the check mark. Okay, then we'll scroll down and flash. Select OK. It says it can take a minute or two for flash fire to load. Black screen may happen twice for up to half a minute. So we'll go ahead and select OK. And just know that this is going to take, you know, at least five to ten minutes to do its thing. So don't freak out if it seems to be taking a while. So here you guys can see flash fire is loading. Okay, once it's loaded, it's going to go ahead and begin flashing your ROM. So you guys can see the action down here. It's installing Clean ROM 1.0. Now, Scrossler has mentioned in his ROM thread that for some people, uh, when they flash the ROM for the first time, if they've had the device for quite a while, for some reason, Flash Fire has a problem with wiping data. So you may want to try wiping data in stock recovery first and then run this. You may have a little more success. Um, otherwise, you may soft brick your device. That may require you to Odin back to factory settings. I'll be sure to include a link in the description just in case you encounter a soft brick. Once you've Odin back to stock, uh, you should be able to flash the ROM no problem. Now, that actually happened to me the first time I tried to flash it. I ran into some issues. I Odin back to stock, and then this is the second attempt at actually flashing the ROM. You guys can see there, it worked just fine. My phone is now booting up. So as soon as this boots up, we'll take a quick look at Clean ROM 1.0. Okay, guys, so once the phone boots, you'll need to set up your device again since you did wipe data. Uh, all your applications and data will be gone. It's basically like running a brand new phone directly out of the box. But as you guys can see, this has been uh, cleaned up and de-bloated. And this is basically the purest form of TouchWiz for the Galaxy S6 Edge and S6. So basically all the Verizon applications and all of the Amazon bloat have been removed. The only things that are included here are things like visual voicemail and a few other necessities. It is pre-rooted with Super SU and BusyBox already installed. So you'll see that we have Super SU there and BusyBox is already integrated. And you guys can see we only have one page of apps here because it has been de-bloated to the extreme. Another thing that this includes is the removal of Knox. And of course it has the stability and performance of clean ROM. I've also noticed uh, several people have claimed incredible battery life. So battery life should be improved on this ROM because that has been tweaked. And we'll just take a look at what we have here. These are the Google apps that come installed. And anything that's missing as far as Google apps can be added with the Play Store. Um, Samsung apps that are included here. We have the Messages app, S Health, S Voice, and Smart Remote. We have Tools. Uh, calculator memo, my files, voice recorder, and then a few little Verizon apps, the mobile hotspot, 
my Verizon Mobile Setup Wizard and Voice Mill. Okay, we'll go ahead and test out the tether just to see. Normally the clean ROMs have tether uh, support included. So it's checking for subscription status. So native tethering is not included in this particular build, but I'm sure that will be added in later builds. Okay, other than that, guys, just incredible performance. Of course, your camera is going to work perfectly, Bluetooth. Everything should work perfectly, considering that this is not an AOSP ROM. This is a TouchWiz ROM based on Samsung's kernel. Uh, so everything here will be working perfectly. There should be zero bugs. Basically, just have a cleaned down, debloated version of TouchWiz for the Galaxy S6 Edge. Anyways, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.